Highway 1 To the end of that line Where the land meets the sea Sun loves to shine Yeah, there's no bad day Only good time No bad day Everything's just fine Got a big fish on the end of this life Little salt and lime Yeah, there's no bad day Today, we're going to interview Mike from the Roadhouse. Alright, see you later. Take care. Mike here? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. This is Mike. And there goes Mike. That's amazing. Conway or, or died. Died. Yeah, they're only the only ones that like leave so far have been uh, Dave Halliburton. He's up in Hollywood. Hollywood. I've been drinking these little baby beers yeah, right I've so long <laughs> I that this tastes like shit. I noticed. All right, so Mike, let's start with Hi, I'm Mike, and I am the Roadhouse in a real acting. That place. was my line. Now wait, now wait a minute. Now, Jesus, Renee, you gotta get. You told me that was my line. Now you're Mike from the Roadhouse. Okay, well, okay, Mike. How, well, how did you get here? What happened? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to say um, on a, a, a tuna boat back in 1959. But now that you're Micah from the and the Roadhouse, yeah, holy uh, shit, uh, that changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah, I take Hi, care. I'm Renee. my name is Renee. I'm filming Mike here at the Roadhouse. He's a hell of a nice guy. He's been down here for. <laughs> All right. All right, I apologize. <laughs> um, let's start over. Hi, I have the greatest pleasure in the world to socialize with one of the most hardest persons in the world to socialize with. Who's that? Here, from the Roadhouse live. Mike. That's me. That's my line now. See, okay. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mike, and I'm basically the Roadhouse. I used to be Latitude 22 Mike, but now I'm the Roadhouse, Latitude 22 Roadhouse Mike, down here for low these 30 years. Hi, you're Renee? Hi, guy. How you doing? So, Mike. Yo, that's me. me. <laughs> this is fun, huh? <laughs> when did you come to Kawa? How the hell did you get here? First time back in, oh my God, 1959, a tuna boat called a Count of Bianco out of San Diego. Um, we were catching fish here, going down to the Galapagos Islands. And then we'd come back here and trade the fish off at the cannery for fuel so we could get home because we were, didn't have any diesel fuel. But we had a lot of tuna. But that was the first <laughs> time here. There was nothing here. There was a, a, the cannery was out there. That was it and a bunch of little rancheros. No restaurants, no palm, there was no palm trees. There wasn't a palm tree in Cabo San Lucas back then. So why did you come here if it was like this? Well, I was on that big boat. Ah. That's where the boat was stopping. You know, I was just a fishing guy. The captain, he was the guy who was in charge of all that stuff. He knew where all the fish were. He said, we're going to Cabo to get fuel, and then we're going to the Galapagos. I, I'm on the boat. I can't do nothing about that. He knew everything there was to know about fishing. So what got me back here? Oh, two more trips fishing with the same captain. Same guy. He was the guy that said we're going to Cabo again. What time back? What year was that? 1959 and 60. Wow. 1959 and 60. Three trips, yeah. And then, oh, back up to Manhattan Beach and Coronado. And then I didn't come back down here again until 1973 for four years then. That was fun. That was a lot of fun back in 73. And why? Well, at that time, None of the bad guys were here yet. The, 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 
they didn't even know what timeshare was. Um, the Finisterra was built. That was built in 72, and the little, that little Marte Cortez place was built uh, in 72. Other than that, there was a place called Alfonso's and uh, Rafa's. That was it for nightlife, and it was fun. And you could catch fish out in that harbor out there because the, 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 when they pumped all the affluent out of the cannery, they pumped it right into the harbor here. You could catch tuna, you could catch marlin, you could catch anything you wanted. To. You could catch a lot of stuff out in that. Yeah, you could. It was great. That's when it was really great. Then we didn't come back down here until 88. That's why I stayed. 88. That was the, that's when everybody was here. Oh, my God. It was, everybody was here. Everybody. Timeshare. So 88 was the big boom here. Well, actually, 85 was. 85 was. That's when the jiggling marlin came. And they, they kind of set the precedent of, okay, let's have some fun in Kabul. That's, and, but they burnt down, so they built another one. The first giggling marlin? Building? Yeah, they burnt down. They, um, I think they either one made somebody mad, two made everybody mad, three or it was an accident. Uh, something to the extent of a bottle rocket hitting the Palapa roof. <laughs> and uh, it went up in smoke. There's some pictures of it around here someplace, but it's, it's yeah, 80, 83, the Marlin, 85, the rebirth of the Marlin, then 88, oh my God, Cobble Wobble, uh, me, uh, the one that got away, a whole bunch of bars. So you and uh, Sammy Hagar came at the same time about? We opened up about a week apart, and which is really amazing is, I've never been in Cobble Wobble, and Sammy's never been in here. I've never met Sammy, and Sammy's never met me, but we sure have a lot of fun not together. I know his, his brother a lot. We vicariously talk to each other through his brother Bobby, and that's kind of fun. So back in 18, uh, 1988, what was a typical day? How, what did you do? Did you buy a house? Did you find an apartment? Or how did you live here? Greg. Well, I opened the bar. I opened the old Latitude. When was that? The same year, 88? 88, 88 yeah. Wow, same year. Yeah, and um, we would drink there a lot, and then we'd go fishing a lot. And then we come back there and we drink some more. That's pretty much a, a action-packed day in '88 and '89 and '90. After that, the government started collecting taxes and everything, so we had to start getting professional about everything we were doing. But up until then, it was a pretty loose cannon. We had a lot of fun down here. But then everything changes. My God, uh, and now it's just like Los Angeles. My God Almighty, we got a, a culture center now in town. Back in 88, the only culture we had was when you open your refrigerator on top of the cream cheese, that green stuff, that was culture then. And that's, that's pretty much, but that's, but now we got a culture center. Yeah. Oh well. So you open up this place, uh, Latitude yeah. 22, back in the center of town, and you started collecting pictures and photos. How many do you think you have at this point? It's phenomenal. Oh, I'd say four million. If I was Obama, I'd say four million. But being me, I'd have to say there was probably about oh, I don't know, thousand, thousand pictures. And out of the thousands and thousands of pictures, what was the most interesting characters that came through that door, other than you and Captain Neptuno and Cabo Jack and Don Tyson? Nah. He was a pretty interesting boy. He was a fun guy. You know, we started this um, No Bad Days here in 1994, which is a pretty nice way to live, No Bad Days. It's a little palm tree with No Bad Days on the wall over there. Well, Don Tyson, he had all the money in the world, for Christ's sake, and he died, God rest his soul, in January last year, this year, January. But he, he, he took that model, No Bad Days. He says, I don't have time for bad days. And he took that all over Fayetteville and funny he didn't brand his chickens with it. Well, it's all he was one of the Florida. Yeah, he was one of the, neater, one of the neater guys coming through the doors. Don was. But all the other guys were great. But he was one of the, the nice ones. He recently passed, too. Yeah, what, January. Was... January 6th. You think with all that money, you could go buy parts and stay alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be 71. He was 83. I'm going to be 71 come October. And uh, I'm hoping to get to 83, but I, I don't have the ability to buy parts like he did. I mean, he could go in Mayo Clinic, buy parts. 
Yeah, yes. all his boats down here. He was fun. He was a lot of fun. He's the chicken guy. Uh, chicken guy, yeah. Yeah, he just didn't give a pluck about nothing. That's a joke. Um, I've been a hard time here since 59, and then 73 to 76, and then 88. Um, looks like this work I'm going to cash out. Uh, it's, it's probably the safest place in Mexico, and it sure is, without a doubt, the most fun. Uh, there, there's been a couple little squeaky things happening with the boats and the cruise ships, but if, if you want to come to a nice place, Cabo San Lucas is about the safest, the most fun place. It's good here. What's your favorite song? Not to change the subject. My favorite yeah, song? Yeah, we want to hear what you like to hear. Oh, oh darling, please believe me. Music's a wonderful thing. Oh, oh darling, please believe me. I never do you no wrong. That's Very my favorite song. Right? Excellent. Good song. I, I sing that to Good every song. one of my ex-wives. So, this camera's been roaming around. Who would you think I should use this next time? Well, you're a pretty interesting guy. I'd have so many no, no, pictures I'm of you. I want to be secluded. Uh, well, you can't when you're you're in production like this. But I I think you you'd want to go down and, and spend a little time with Spencer down at Mama's Ro Mama's Royal Cafe. He's a curmudgeon. He's uh, Jesus Christ. He tried to kill himself twice, and he had three heart attacks. And he just he's going to be around for a long time. So yeah, you might as well go down there and talk to him. He's got a lot of great stories too. All right, Mike, stare into this camera and tell me 30 seconds of anything you want to tell this little baby. This is my baby. 30, 30 seconds. Uh, black chick, huh? Well, um, 30 seconds. I just like to say that I want to, all you people come down to Cabo, if, you, if anybody is watching this, and uh, let's get to be meeting each other personally, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll buy you a drink, and you can tell me about yourselves. Now that you know a little bit about me, that's about 27 seconds, Renee. Exactly 27 seconds. So, Adios. Bye-bye, baby. Thank you Sayonara, so much. everybody. And here we are at the Roadhouse on a Sunday closed morning on the 21st of August. Only good times.